I'm Josh Ramey. Caleb. This is Krista. Sarah. This is Katie. And it's time for the grunt. That was, that was cold, bro. Hang on. How do I do it? Well, let's see what you say. I can't do this. Just I'm not nervous game. anymore. Hey, guys. I'm not no Josh. I can't smile and talk. I cannot. I can do that. I can do that. So here's a little preview. I messed up. Oh my gosh, I did good that time. Why do you keep doing this to me? One more time. This is so stupid. There's, there's, the there's the light. There's the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's gonna be the first thing that opens up the show. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. We are finishing up. We are finishing up. This is it. This is it. last. We have the last push. You know what? There was only one Christopher Columbus of discovering America. There was only one man that walked on the moon. So there'll be only one in the history of the world. A graduating class of 2013 from Lincoln County High School. There'll be only one junior class. 2013 from Lincoln County High School. So we're making history today. We are. That is, that is nice. Yeah. Uh, so let's get to it, shall we? Because today is the very last regular season episode of The Grind. The Grind. Basically, we've got a lot of projects we have to do. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit of time to do it. And um, so we're taking off the next couple weeks to do it. Plus, you know, we've got... One week until West Test. Right. This next week. Very important starting, West Test. Starting on Very Monday important. is our West Test kickoff week. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a bunch of activities throughout the, the day. I know the uh, English department and several. I'll be, I'll be decorating my door right. uh, for it and getting things prepped and ready for that. Then we've got West Test. Mm -hmm. Our seniors will be departing us then. Yeah. Yeah. So sad. Which is another reason why we're kind of ending the show <laughs> at this note because if when the seniors go... We have... You have nobody to help. <laughs> we have two. We've, I, got, I got Josh and we've got Krista. I think everybody else is seniors. They're all seniors. Um, speaking of, uh, which means we need to have tryouts. Yes. All right, do you call it tryouts? What do you call it? Well, you auditions. Just, do, auditions. You can't show up and say, I want to do this. You have no. to have some skills. I've had tons of people come up to me and say they want to yeah. do this. You have to have skills. So in about a, middle of next week or sometime, we will hold auditions. Um, we'll make an announcement you know, the old-fashioned way over the intercom. Uh, we'll, we'll hold auditions for people who are interested, probably during both lunches. Uh, have people come in. You'll have to do an impromptu reading, like either a cold reading or uh, just make something up on the spot. And uh, we'll see how you go on camera. And uh, We might find the next Walter Cronkite. Uh, and I bet they don't know who Walter Cronkite is. I bet they don't. The Diane Sawyer, the next Diane Sawyer, yeah. Possibly. How about this? We will find the next William Hung. <laughs> Who remembers that guy from American <laughs> Idol season one? <laughs> she bang, she bang. <laughs> oh, I still crack up at that. That is the best. William Hung. All right, so let's get to the announcements. Okay. Uh, Break Free. It is a Christian concert series. It will be this weekend, Friday and Saturday, here at the school. It begins on Friday at... 5.30, I believe. 5.30 in the yes. afternoon, and again on Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, for more information, go to BreakFreeLC.com. The Eiffel Tire from the prom is going to be auctioned off. I that need to get be, it out of my garage. Yes. <laughs> that will be a sealed bid. That means you'll put the amount of money you're willing to pay for that sucker in an envelope, give it to Mr. Spinago, and the highest bid will be the recipient of that. Cassie Ice, if you're in the building, please call Brandy Ashley. That's right, Cassie Ice. Call Brandy call Ashley. Ashley. Because you're in the building. You need to do that because we're making filming this after. <laughs> I spent all, <laughs> I've spent all uh, all day today interviewing students and filming that, so we might put some of that at the end of this today. Sure. Um, Mr. Plumley is hosting the freshman sophomore sophomore sophman sophman freshman sophomore. freshman sophomore yeah. formal. It'll be on the 17th of May. Uh, he, I don't know anything about ticket information, but he's the gentleman to see about that. See Mr. There Plumlee. are posters all over the place. I tweeted one out the other day. Mm -hmm. um, they hung one down here by the double doors and then in the main hallway by the office. Right. So that's cool. Now this is the big one. Ms. McComas has posted a list of students who are currently eligible to go on the Kings Island trip. 
If you've signed up, but you're not on that list, you're not eligible to go. If you think that somebody's made a mistake on something, you need to check with her. However, this is the important part. She's not doing it during class time. If you want to see her about that, you see her in the morning before school starts, after school, or during either one of your lunches. And it's got to be your lunch. Not somebody else's. Not somebody else's <laughs> lunch. Don't, don't, don't cut if you've got second lunch. Don't go down during first lunch. That's just a tricky thing. Um, <clears throat> they will... Uh, everybody must be signed up by Friday, May 10th. No one is permitted to sign up after that date. Uh, the list is, for the ninth grade is a little bit short. If they want to go, they need to check their eligibility. So I think right now, I think the joke was that this, this is the sophomore trip. <laughs> this is the sophomore trip. Um, but Large number. Yeah, let's get that straightened out, guys. Next week, we also start the spring games at the Hamlin Ball Field. I think that's going to be the... I think it's Thursday. The Thursday, okay. And we'll bust students here from... Uh, um, high school to, to go over to help with that. Uh, that's something we've been a part of for a long time. And uh, I had a lot of fun last yeah. year. I came and take, uh, took pictures for everybody. It was right. a pretty good time. We're look, I think they're looking for buddies, and I think Mr. Miller mm -hmm. is that the fellow that will be uh, taking care of those buddies. So uh, if you'd like to participate in that, see, see Mr. Him. Miller. Uh, also, the Color Guard is they are um, doing tryouts on the 9th. There will be two days of pre-tryout workouts that so you can come out and, and get to get the feel of it on the 7th and the 8th. So come on out and participate in that. So there's a lot of tryouts at the end of the year for the next year. Uh, the yearbook is also wrapping up. So if you have anything you need to put in the yearbook, get that to Miss Polly today because they're done. And in fact, I've got to get a bunch of stuff for her as soon as we get off of here. <laughs> Yay. Relay for Life is Friday, May the 17th. That'll be at the Lincoln Primary Care Center. Um, Definitely worthwhile cause. I'm sure, you know, unfortunately, cancer has probably impacted every one of us in some shape or fashion. And this is an excellent way to uh, uh, come up with some money. Lincoln County High School is sponsoring a group called Hunting for a Cure. That's in honor of our uh, dearly departed teacher, Mr. Aaron Hunting. The uh, cost is only 10 bucks. So if you want to help out with that, see Miss Elkins. Yeah. Um, it, I, I want to say, because my, my mom passed away from cancer. My mom so. did also. So, and it, you know, it was my, it was my first week of college, right. you know, and it, it was just one of those things. Like it, it, it offset a lot of different things I, emotionally and yeah. even physically. It was just, it's just emotionally, physically draining. And, you know, it, it wasn't me, it was somebody else, you know, so it, it, it affects everybody. Yeah. And last year when I was working at Hamlin, we had two different teachers, you know, diagnosed right after Christmas. Yeah with uh, with cancer uh, and I am glad to report that you know as of right now one of them Miss Lori is back to work and awesome. doing an awesome job as uh, and Miss Gilda is a lot mm -hmm. better but she's still at home mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know we it, it affects a lot of people we want to get as many people out and as possible to participate um, in fact uh, Damien Maynard Myself, Marshall Merritt, we all did this thing last year. We shaved our heads in honor yeah. of it, you know. So, it's just something I'd be willing to do. But you're already a little <laughs> slick there, bud. <laughs> but I, I would hope this generation would make that a, a, their cause. Is yeah. To let's rid this earth of that old nasty cancer. Yeah. Also, in the office, they're selling these little cupcakes for a dollar. Buy one, put your name on it. We're going to tape them. We're going. I want to plaster the inside of the office yeah. that okay. that cage there with these little cupcakes. Make it like a little pink room, purplish. Purplish you know, pink. Pur purplish pink as the light comes yes. in. It'd be neat. Miss yep. um, Hatfield doing West, or excuse me, uh, ACT math prep after school on Thursdays in her room. If you want to do it, sign up. And I think that's it. Yeah. Other oh. than again, great. Oh, I was going to say. Um, we've got, uh, stay tuned for after our part because we've got a very special message from one of our teachers, um, Miss Fry. Yeah. She's leaving us, but she wanted to, she wanted to get something out there just to let everybody know how she felt. And yeah. it was, uh, it was an emotional yeah. thing filming that, you know, I made her do it twice. It was, uh, um, and it was just good. for your, your knowledge, I guess we did have the state department came to see us yesterday. And the one thing they said to us, the very first thing they said to us, and we knew it all along was, what a wonderful group of kids that we have here at Lincoln County High School. 
Um, I'm proud to be associated with you. I'm tickled to death to, to, to be your leader, I guess. I had a chance to speak with most of you, uh, either in groups or individually. But uh, again, we're, we're moving forward. We're, as I said, in, when I met with you, we're sick and tired of being the last on first list and the first on last list. Uh, we, we're going to be that pioneer um, students next year to make all these major changes. For you seniors that are leaving, you know, we appreciate you. Thank you guys for your leadership. Obviously, you're going to bigger and better things and enjoy your, your graduation and your summertime. But always be safe. All right. That's it. We will see you later. Next year. We might have a couple specials yeah. after this. Come on now. We can't just end it like that. Hello, I'm Tanya Fry. I'm the graphics design teacher. As most of you know, I'll not be returning to Lincoln County High School next school year. This decision did not come easy. However, I have to do what's best for my family. I can honestly say that I love the students and staff of Lincoln County High School, and I've made friends and memories that I will cherish forever. I remember the first day I stepped into these halls, Jerry Cremains greeted me with a smile and offered his help if ever I needed it. And to this day, he has kept his word. Jerry isn't the only teacher I've befriended over the past few years. Shane Messinger, he's always been there. <laughs> he's like the brother that I never wanted to have. He's built some crazy contraptions for us and has done everything and more that I've ever asked of him and always with a smile and of course some back sass. Tim Elliott and Terry Spinagle. Tim, I just can't thank you enough for sending me all those wonderful students. Thanks, Tim. May you receive the same. Terry, thank you for fixing stuff for us and reminding me that we should always say grace. Last but certainly not least, Joanna Elkins. She's been my partner in crime, my lunch buddy, my shopping buddy, my roommate, my mom, my sister, my go-to girl, and yes, my vocabulary teacher. Joanna, I truly love you and I will miss you more than you will ever know. I also want to thank the administration for being so supportive and providing a wonderful work environment. But most of all, my students, AKA my babies. They've kept me young and have kept me laughing. We have so many creative and talented students here at LCHS and I'm blessed to have had them in class. I hope that I've inspired a student to achieve dreams and their goals in life like I have mine. LCH has been a wonderful place to begin my teaching career. During my three years here, I have learned so much about my profession and about myself. Although it will be a sad time when I have to leave, I will have so many wonderful memories to take with me. Thank you all for being so good to me and welcoming me into your family. And I wish all the students the best of luck in the future. I know that I'll be leaving them in good hands. I love each and every one of you. All right, Panthers, don't forget to follow us up on our YouTube page or tweet us at LCHS Proud.